In this chapter, we are demonstrating how easy it is to use our masking paper, TCP 900 or 910, so that multiple colors can be applied to your models. For the two F4, F3 builds for the 1940 versions we are painting, the upper surfaces of the wings have to be painted TCP 1378 orange yellow, while the undersides of the wings are painted TCP 013 aluminum. You may cut the mask to size prior to placing the masking paper on the parts, or you can trim the masking paper after applying it to the parts in question, as I have done in this part of the video. If you have a more complex mask and you do not want to draw the pattern onto the masking paper, you can use any laser or inkjet printer to print the pattern directly onto our masking paper since it is 8 inches by 10 inches. Then just cut the pattern out of the paper and place the mask onto the parts in question. To apply our masking paper, peel the backing paper off the masking and place it on the part where needed. Use a plastic or metal burnisher to ensure to get a firm attachment to the surface of the part. This will make sure a sharp demarcation between the colors and will prevent bleed through from one color to the next. As we showed in Chapter 3, we painted the aluminum first on the underside of the wings, then allowed the paint to dry overnight. Since the orange yellow color is slightly wrapped around the leading edge of the lower wing, we applied the masking paper a short distance from the edge of the underside of the wing. This is to protect from overspraying getting on the aluminum paint. To prepare the parts you have to paint in multiple colors, True Color Paint suggests doing the following. Wash the parts with mild soapy water. Rinse thoroughly with clean water. Then pat the parts dry with a lint-free cloth. Or you can paint the parts with a primer. In either case, there will be no paint removal with the use of our masking paper. Now we are ready to paint TCP 1378 orange yellow on the wings we have just masked. Using a Vega 2000 airbrush with a medium tip and the pressure set at 30 psi, go back and forth across each wing smoothly. Note we are spraying directly from a stock bottle of TCP 1378 without adding any thinner. Again, an adapter was placed on a one ounce bottle of this color. The orange yellow color on the wing surface was present on most U.S. naval aircraft from 1929 through 1940, including biplanes. Please observe, we should have secured each wing to the board we are using to support the wings for painting. We did not, and one side of one wing popped off. While we are able to flip that side back onto the board without any ill effects, we must make sure on future projects to secure all parts. Since we use very little of the TCP 1384 Willow Green, which was assigned to the USS Ranger, a paint cup is attached to the Vega airbrush. A small amount of the willow green is poured into the cup and sprayed onto the tail section on the fuselage of one of the F4, F3 aircraft we are building. Note that we applied the TCP 900 masking paper to the majority of the fuselage leaving a sweeping arc slightly below the tail. This was called out on the instruction sheets 
provided by Yellow Wings decals. Make sure you paint all exposed surfaces near the tail section. Removing the mask is simple and easy when using TCP 900 masking paper. Each of the wings were masked and painted earlier in this video and we are now ready to remove the masking paper. Lift one end of the masking paper and slowly but steadily peel back at about a 180 degree angle on the part. Note that we did not pull any aluminum off of the wing. Repeat the procedure above for the second wing and you are now ready to attach them to the fuselage. Observe the straight line where the orange yellow is adjacent to the aluminum on the wing underside. Mm -hmm. 